I like the end of that video. Now, we're on, I think, the third video. So, you know, Doug gets all kinds of stuff. I'm trying to break it down. Um, I'm going to say that's... Uh, uh, what is it called? Sarah... Sarah... Uh, Sarah... Sarah Nana, whatever. And then Nana, or whatever the moons, of uh, Nibiru. That's what I'm going to say it is. But this almost says a UFO looking thing, Doug. It's about as clear as I can get it. Let's see. Online. Best Doug's videos from now on are best done under heavy filtration. <laughs> you see why. This is like the same kind of shot before. I think I showed you guys some of this stuff in one of my other videos, but I'm going to show you real quick again. That's just something I made, a little fun thing. That's really what, what the shot he got was. I think it's a simulator and a moon. So I did a lot of work on these, some of these just so you can see them. This is definitely some kind of UFO looking thing. But uh, I do want to point out this. Got my handy dandy. Stuff's like dipping in, you know, to our atmosphere, it's bringing its own clouds. Yeah, put something calm on, I need to stay calm, keep my blood pressure down. This stuff's freaky, you watch all day, all the time. That's some wicked looking stuff right there, Doug. I don't even know what it is. That's back in September. So I'm just all over the place because I just keep getting. I just keep opening folders of Doug's that are zip files. Um, it's a lot of light. I don't know what it is, guys. Um, if it's the light we're seeing from the ground, making it look like an optical planet, like a, like a planet going by. But it's pretty cool looking. Um, not sure. You know, that's all I can say about that. Here's one that's very strange. <laughs> Doug, I like this one. What's that? Let's turn the lights down. Find out. Sometimes I look up and go, oh, I haven't been recording? Bummer. No, I was recording. Yeah. Now, I'm not, I'm not really understanding what the uh, Texas Square is. You know, the cube thing, but from what I understand, it's alien. So let's assume... Man, I don't draw as good as Rebecca, but, you know. I'm going to assume this might be the, the elongated Texas Cube. Let's just say that's it. I love my drawing, don't you? I could actually draw better, but I haven't had enough coffee. Well, let's say that's the Texas Cube. Spaceship, no spaceship. I don't know what this is. And this could be the... This is a long one. This is a square Texas cube. I don't know. I'm just making it up, guys, because I'm not sure if I believe in that Texas cube. But I see a lot of alien stuff. I've debunked the... Um, I've showed you the real Anunnaki in the sky. Matter of fact, I'm going to put that video up. Enough of that square stuff. Square pants. Bob, whatever his name is. Let's just go to the next one. This stuff freaks me out. Doug. Definitely UFO looking. Definitely planet looking. Like, what in the world's that? Come on, guys. Doug, that's a good one. I don't know what it is. How's that for an answer? Now, I know I can see a planet right there for me. Obscurity in the skies. It's called the curtain of heaven. You know, our job, guys, is to roll back this insane insanity, right? It's just roll back time. <laughs> So, shadow ban, no shadow ban, I'm going to keep putting up stuff. That's strange, Doug. It's definitely planetary celestial objects in the sky. Definitely UFO-ish. That's what in the world? Doug gets some of the strangest stuff. What is that? I don't know. This could be, uh, seriously, this really could be the um, OCG. Um, but it's pretty freak. I'm going to darken it even more. Yeah, it's the OCG. It's a red stuff. I don't know. Dark planets everywhere. 
See, I tell you, Doug's stuff is pretty dark. I gotta filter through it and try to get you the best shots. No complaints. See, a lot of times I get stuff like that and I'll straighten it up to stuff like that. Wow, that's the best shot I've ever seen from Doug right there. Gotta hand it to you, bro. You took that one good. That's hey Doug. Don't send them like this. Send them please like this. And then let me filter. Let's see how I do, okay? But otherwise, wish he had his own channel, he'd blow it up. Well here's Napicity all sneaking around up there. Napicity and rocks. See these rocks? Rocks. 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 Well, I'm saying that, and I'm being all weird this morning because I about had it. Um, but you know, the green planet, right? Ooh la. Green planet coming down. And uh, at this point, you know, I, I, it's like capturing by, by color. Some things Doug would say, hey, go back, Chris. Um, look at that. And that's another one of those anomalies in the sky. Trying to get through this footage um, from October. There you go. That could be a good picture of that yellow moon, right? That we've seen in, uh, over there. I say it's in front of Nibiru. Looks like it's in front of... I don't know. You guys tell me. But Doug tells me about this yellow sun, moon thing happening all the time. Let's take a picture, uh, let's take a look at the, the diagram again, okay? Okay, no music on this one. Let's see. And you see how R2, you see how R2 came in purple for a long time in October, uh, back in 20, 2020. That was moving all over the place, right? And so, you know, this thing, you could draw a picture today, and it'll be totally different tomorrow. Here's some of Rebecca's stuff. Um, some of this, these pictures are her best work. I love it. That's her channel right there on Facebook. Um, we get to the current stuff. This is nine. See how big our two moon was? So where's our two, right? Our two is like taking up half the sky right there. The moon is just real close to us. Okay. And so we go on. Here's some more of the Texas cubes. Um, so some of it's just speculation. Um, here's an August. Big O R2. Still big. Um, but here's a yellow moon in front of Istum. And like I say, the yellow moon could float around all at once. Um, I don't think I have the current. Here's another picture of some objects in the sky right there from Rebecca. Beautiful. Meanwhile, I'll go back. So guys, no matter which way you see it, you cut it, it's all weird all the time. Um, there you go. What could this be? Debris. Why are they doing that to the sun? Why are they flaring it like that with the sun simulator? Your guess is good. This is November 4th. I jumped up, right? But you gotta see this stuff, guys, to believe it. And Doug's seeing it every day. See, what you're looking at is so paranormal looking. It's unbelievable. What they're trying to hide is that fire our planet right there. But, um... There you go. I think there are a couple of asteroids there. Two or three asteroids floating around. With that OCG. Let's see what else I can find for this video is over. Alright guys, I'm going to come back with some some more current stuff I'm doing in November or December, okay? I think I've exhausted a lot of stuff I wanted to show. Just trying to get to it. A lot of this is just the way I get it from Doug. Uncut. Unfiltered. Right there. The Doug seeing stuff. Unexplainable stuff. November 4th, he's seen a lot. Check this out before we cut out of here. Doug calls me, look at that, look at that picture, look at that picture, it's like a giant yellow red sun. It actually is. So, next video, right?
God bless.